It's not always like, you know, when you're using the person. <laughs> Today, let's look at my favorite triangle entry from the closed guard. The main problem that we face triangling people from the closed guard is good posture. Even when they're on their knees, their armpits are way far away from our hips. And to be effective at most upper body submissions like the Jujigatami, straight arm lock, the triangle, even on the plata, we have to be able to get our hips up to the line of our partner's armpit. So when they're here in the closed guard, it's very, very difficult to do. Unless we start by breaking our partner's posture. So that's how we're gonna begin. How are we gonna do that? So he's gonna start here with strong, uh, strong frame. This strong frame is a good idea, whether he's posting down on my ribs or he's up at the biceps here. Yep, this, these grips prevent us from bringing our body forward, okay? So when we see our partner gripping here, the first thing we're gonna do is take a grip on the outside of our partner's wrist and we're gonna fold our hands so that we have a five finger grip like so. Next, we're gonna bring our arm inside and underneath. So our, we, even if our partner's kind of arms are in, inside here tight, we can always get our fist through underneath our partner's arm. Now we're gonna use the action of our knees to bring our partner forward. I don't have to bring him all the way forward. I have to bring him close enough to be able to reach my arm to his collar. Now sometimes you can reach through and grab, but often that's not the case. We're gonna go forearm to our partner's wrist. The left hand is gonna push, and as we push, we're gonna bring our partner here. Notice that what we're doing is taking away one of, the, one of the stabilizing structures with our push, and one of the stabilizing structures with the pull of our forearm here. Finally, we use a little bit of an effort with our knees to bring our partner to this position. We're gonna take an over wrap grip so that our hand controls our partner's collar and prevents him from reposturing. With this left hand in place, we're simply gonna drive and punch so that our partner's hand goes towards their belly button. We split the legs. In doing so, we're able to get our partner's hand from being in front of our hips here to being behind them, and that's the whole goal. Now, with the collar tie, we can fire our hips up. The goal is to bring your hips up to your partner's shoulder line, and on the far side, your hips up to your partner's armpit. We've captured now the beginnings of the triangle called the trap triangle. We drive our heels down, we draw our knees into our chest. When we're ready to finish, we're gonna control our top leg using our hand. You're never holding your foot. You're gonna take a scoop grip on your partner's arm and we'll demonstrate on the opposite side too so you can see. We're gonna windshield wipe our legs without unlocking them. Okay, it's very important that you don't now unlock your, your legs so that your partner can start to retract that arm. Instead, you're going to keep your legs nice and tight and you're going to pivot with your locked legs so that you can eventually adjust to a place where you're covering your partner's shoulder. Then from here, you have a very tight triangle. Some people feel like it's essential to bring the arm all the way across. It's not. It's best practice to do that, but even if you can't, you'll still find a strong finish here. So, our partner is in the closed guard on their knees. We begin with a grip here on their wrist. Our second hand comes through right by their wrist, so we go forearm to wrist. We push with our left, pull with our right, and our knees draw our partner forward in this fashion. Now you can see his hand is in front of my hips. When we take the collar tie and we do the splits, you're gonna see his hand disappear behind the line of my legs. Now we can start by trapping. Remember with a trap triangle, we're not locking the figure of four immediately. Okay, it's very difficult to do unless your partner is smaller than you or you've got a lot of flexibility or really long legs. So we simply start with the trap and we pinch our knees here. Now we're gonna hold our own shin. This second hand helps us to create a good angle for the finish, so we scoop under our partner's arm. If at this point, he elects to stand up, so he kind of forms a tripod here with his hand, and he starts to go ahead and bring your head up to the sky. We scoop under the leg on the far side, and our job stays the same. We never unlock our legs here. We always keep our legs semi control like a semi-sengaku, until we can cut the corner and finish. When you're able to keep your hips up at the line of your partner's armpit, control your partner's posture, and keep the arm on the inside, you're gonna find a, a lot of success with this version of the triangle. It is a little bit explosive, right? So you can't do this one too slowly, but when you catch it and you capture, and you control the posture, it's very easy to get to the next level, which is that control of the full figure four and cutting off the carotid arteries for the finish. Hopefully this was helpful, you enjoyed it.